I just wanted to drop you a line and say a big thanks for meeting up with us yesterday. By the way, I'm Malcolm's mom. I asked him if it was okay to pass along your contact info so we could have a conversation. Oh, and sorry for contacting you out of nowhere like this. Oh, no, the pleasure was truly mine. I want to express my sincere gratitude for taking the time out of your busy day to meet and have a conversation with me. So, Malcolm gave you my information, right? Just to make things official, my name is Rosie. I'm really excited about the prospect of further conversations with you in the future. Oh, there's no need to be such a stickler for formality. Listen up a bit, will you? Now brace yourself for some sudden news. After our meeting yesterday, I thought it was only fair to let you in on our final decision. I'm sorry? What do you mean by the final decision? Decision on what? Let me make this crystal clear. Based on my unbiased assessment after grilling you the other day, I've reached a verdict. And it's a big fat no-go for you to marry my precious son. Consider your engagement officially canceled starting now. Malcolm will be reaching out to you himself soon to rub it in your face. Thanks for wasting my time and have a fabulous day. Wait, what? This isn't just something you drop on someone out of the blue. What are you talking about? You'll be canceling the engagement? What do you mean? Oh my, it seems like you must be living under a rock or something. Could it be that someone like you has no clue what it means to cancel an engagement? I mean, come on, don't you youngsters rely on the almighty internet for everything? If you're clueless about this, why not just Google it like every other thing? Unless, of course, my assumption about your capabilities was completely off the mark. What kind of fool do you think I am? Obviously, I know what canceling an engagement means. What I'm really trying to figure out is you're attempting to cancel it in the first place. And why you think you have the audacity to make such a decision. Acting like some boss in a job interview. Are you not aware that this is something the two people involved should decide together? Rather than some third party meddling in our business? Oh ho ho, it seems you're not quite grasping the full picture here. You actually believe that I'm trying to cancel the engagement simply because I disapprove of you and silenced Malcolm's objections, right? Well, I hate to burst your bubble, but that's far from the truth. Not that I blame you for your self-centered mindset. People like you always think about what's most beneficial for yourselves, without considering others. The reality is, I've had extensive discussions on this matter with Malcolm, too. He's fully aware that we're having this delightful conversation. What? But he hasn't spoken a word with me about anything regarding breaking it off. Are you seriously that stupid? Do my words not penetrate your thick skull when I clearly stated that this was my final decision after our chat yesterday? Sure, Malcolm might have thought it's his job to break the news to you, but honestly, for something as important as this, I figured it would be best to inform you ASAP. Don't you agree? That's why I kindly took it upon myself to reach out directly. Oh, and just to add insult to injury, I believe a little message from Malcolm himself will come later today. Lucky you. What on earth is going on here? I can't believe something like this could be happening. I need to confirm this with Malcolm right away. Oh, what is this now? Are you saying you're gonna bother him while he's in the middle of work? You truly don't have the slightest hint of common sense, do you? It's truly disappointing to witness a woman behaving so disgracefully. I bet you have no clue why you're being treated this way, do you? Well, considering the colossal fool you've proven yourself to be, it's probably safe to assume that you simply don't have a clue, right? What makes you feel like it's appropriate to talk to someone like that? What are you? Some sort of high society person that judges everyone else? Oh dear me, girls like you so lacking in refinement can be downright terrifying at times. All I've been doing is stating plain facts, yet you react with such venomous accusations. It truly highlights the abysmal upbringing you must have had, doesn't it? Well, I suppose this is the predictable outcome one would expect from a single-parent household, isn't it? Hold on a moment. Are you saying that the reason you're deciding to cancel our engagement is because I grew up in a single-parent household? What's so ridiculous about that? Seems like a perfectly reasonable conclusion to draw, at least in my book. I was utterly flabbergasted when I learned the news. Malcolm actually thinks someone with your messed up background is acceptable? That's why the moment you left I wasted no time in enlightening him. A woman raised in a motherless household simply isn't cut out to be a wife, in case you needed me to spell that out for you. 
Are you saying that Malcolm was in total agreement with what you said? Yes, yes he was. I wouldn't be contacting you like this if he wasn't. Anyway, you should just give up already. That's insane! You are really quite persistent, aren't you? It's so pitiful to see someone who can't just accept the truth. Well then, if you're having such a hard time believing me, why not try confirming it with the man himself? Anyway, I did not have any further business with you, so I will now excuse myself. Well then, goodbye. You're on your lunch break right now, right? Please, get back to me as soon as you can. Huh? What is it? I can't call you right now. Is there something urgent that you need to talk to me about? Don't you at least have an idea about what it is I want to talk about? Just a little while ago, I was contacted by your mother. She was saying all sorts of things about how she was going to break up our engagement. Oh, I see. So she was talking to you about that, huh? Can we talk about that this evening? I would really prefer to not waste my lunch break if I can avoid it. What are you talking about? Waste it? Since when was talking to me such a waste of time? Well, the situation is different than before now, right? The engagement has already been broken off, so it's not like we have any obligation to each other after all. We're just two unrelated people now. Oh no, not you two. Are you telling me that you actually agreed to breaking everything off? Huh? Well, yeah, my mom warned me it wouldn't lead to anything good, so... I listened to her drivel and thought she might have a point. That's all, really. After pondering it for a hot minute, I figured, yeah, sounds about right. Although, to be honest, even if I were against breaking off the engagement, I can't say I had high hopes for our future anyway. I mean, dear old mom despised the whole idea right from the start, so... What choice did I have other than to call it quits? Do you get what I'm saying? No, I don't see what you mean at all. If that's how easily you can change your mind about something like this, you shouldn't have proposed to me in the first place. Come on. I can't really help it now, can I? Mother is pretty darn stubborn. I feel like it'd be better for you if you just stay quiet and give up on the whole idea, okay? I like to consider myself a realist. And if I'm being brutally honest, it's not like I was hugely interested when I was with you anyway, so... How could you say such a thing? Well, anyway, I'll make sure to call you this evening. Let's talk in more detail about that tonight. I'm busy right now, so I need to go. Good evening, Rosie. Uh, well... I apologize for contacting you at this late hour, but there just happens to be something I would like to confirm with you if you don't mind. Ugh, good evening. So, what is this thing you so desperately needed to confirm with me about? Uh, well, I heard a number of things from my son, and, well, I actually wanted to ask you about your father. He's my son's employer, is that correct? If I'm understanding things correctly, he's one of the main people involved with commercial affairs on the board of directors, yes? Uh, well, yeah. You're right. What about it? Oh, no, well, I'm so sorry. I'd like to apologize. As soon as he came home last night, he just happened to mention that a little tidbit about who your father is. My husband and I just got so flustered at such a revelation. I couldn't believe he was hiding such an important piece of information. I mean, I was thinking, why didn't Malcolm mention something so important beforehand? I truly am ashamed of my conduct. Huh. Okay. I completely understand how angry you are with me. I Really, I do. You see, this is just a problem I've run into as I've aged. Do you think we could perhaps forget about the trifling matter of breaking off the engagement and maybe try to start with a fresh, clean slate? Ah. Uh. My little Malcolm really does have those little moments, doesn't he? He just goes off into his own little world sometimes. I've always said he tends to be a little lacking when it comes to consideration for others. Yes. It's like studying is the only thing he's ever been good at. Yes, I see. Yes, I think I would also be pretty quick to apologize if I had such a poor eye for people. I guess it must just come naturally by now, doesn't it? Ha ha ha. I don't think you need to go that far. Well, anyway, how about it, Rosie? Do you think you could take back the little cancellation of the engagement? Uh, could it be that I'm perhaps not coming across as very sincere? Hmm. Well... 
Let me think about that for a moment. Well, to be honest, I think your intentions have come across quite clearly. Oh, is that so? I'm so happy to hear it. Thank goodness. So, you're fully on board with your son getting a demotion, right? What? Demotion? Just wait, hold on a minute. What? What do you mean when you say demotion? Oh, could it be that you don't understand what I'm saying? I mean exactly what I said. D. Mo. Shun. Well, let's face it. Your son has seriously disrespected both me and my father. And on top of that, we have this whole mess with the marriage and its cancellation. My father has already had conversations with several of the other directors regarding this matter. So everyone is well informed about what's going on. Naturally, news spreads fast. And now the unbroken engagement has become common knowledge among the directors and even the employees. Thanks to all this, things are pretty tense and delicate at the moment. Are you telling me that there isn't anything you could do to stop this? I hate to break it to you, but no apology can fix the mess this situation has become. I've been hearing all sorts of concerned messages and reports from my colleagues. For someone to insult a director's family structure and use it as an excuse to call off an engagement. It just shows how incredibly biased and clueless that person is about society as a whole. People are really feeling that way about this whole ordeal. Wait, what? Please hold on a second. Isn't there anything that can be done about this situation? Please, you have to help us, I'm begging you. Isn't there anything you could do to take it all back? No, I will not. Well, anyway, if you will excuse me, I really must be going now. No, wait, please, just hold on, I'm pleading with you. Please, can't you think over marrying Malcolm one more time? Could you please rethink your position on it? Please wait, don't go. Rosie, what have you done? Things are completely out of control over here. I have never seen my reputation at this company plummet so much. Scene four. Oh, is someone finally starting to realize that he shouldn't have just blindly followed Mommy's orders? Well, no matter what you say, it's far too late, you know. I don't understand why I'm being told that I'm going to be demoted. You need to do something about this. This is something you started, remember? Me? Oh, no, no, no. You're the one who initiated this entire mess. It all began with your actions, remember? And let's not forget that breaking off our engagement was a serious matter that warranted some form of compensation. Don't you agree? Can't you comprehend the gravity of the situation we're in? Well, that is, I... At this point, telling me you don't want to be demoted is just you acting out of desperation, isn't it? Are you really that much of a workaholic? I guess, instead of marrying me, you'd prefer to marry your job, huh? Oh, wait, I see now. You're really afraid of being seen as worthless in the eyes of the higher-ups, aren't you? Up until now, you've had a pretty good reputation with them after all. If your primary goal was to protect your position at the company, then you really shouldn't have broken off the engagement in the first place. Now, should ya? Well, whatever. It's far too late to be thinking about that now. You don't understand. What I'm trying to say is, there's no way I should be getting treated this poorly just over something like breaking off an engagement with someone. Wow. Even after I called it out directly, you're still saying it? Given how clueless you've been acting, I wouldn't be surprised if you're not aware of this, but do you realize that breaking off an engagement with someone is by no means a simple, carefree matter? The two of us were engaged to be married. Regardless of what reason there might be, deciding to break off something like that that's something that both parties involved would need to meet and thoroughly discuss before deciding on, isn't it? What? 
That's just an exaggeration, nothing more. We made formal announcements to everyone. Marriage has an impact on more than just the two of us. It affects our families as well. That's how important it is. You're already 30. You should fully understand this by now. Huh. I guess that would be what someone the likes of you values most. What are you talking about? We have to meet and discuss things first. That's not the day and age we live in anymore now, is it? To me, something like that isn't such a big deal. Wow. This is utterly astounding. I suppose the best thing to say would be that you just shouldn't have proposed in the first place, then. Well, I mean, you... You were talking about how we had been going out for two years, you know? Yeah. And? I fail to see how a statement like that somehow gets interpreted as, please propose to me. I didn't say anything close to that. I wasn't expecting a thing when I said what I did. I was just commenting how it had been two years. I just find that sort of thing to be important to me. Nothing more. Then why can't you just think of breaking off an engagement with that sort of nothing special attitude? I'm sorry? Excuse me? What could you mean by that? Well, I mean... I mean, look at it the same way that you had just casually talked about the two years we spent together, right? Breaking off an engagement is not such a thing you just casually do. Our society sees such a thing as quite a cruel thing to do. You know that? Why, I ask you. If you just think about it from my perspective... You really are saying a lot to me with such a rude tone. Do you realize how seriously you've insulted us? I'm telling you, that's why you ended up being demoted. There were already all sorts of rumors circulating about how the daughter of one of the directors was going to be marrying one of the company's employees. For such an engagement to be broken off by said employee, let alone for the reasoning involved, there's no way he would get away without some kind of penalty. I mean, sure, I get that. So isn't there something you can do for me, your former fiancé? What on earth makes you think I have to do anything about it? What you have to do is properly accept the consequences of your actions. By the way, have you spoken with your mother at all about this? I can guarantee that she will just try to tell you to reconcile with me. All she cares about is trying to get me to marry you. Meanwhile, you being the thoughtless person that you are, would just try to beg her to find some way to fix your mangled reputation in the company. But both of you only think about what would be best for yourselves. What the hell is wrong with both of you? You are both completely unsufferable. Both of you, please never contact me ever again. Wait, that's... I... With all the trouble you've caused us, rest assured that I will be retaining an attorney and doing my best to get compensation for your horribly prejudicial actions. Try to be sincere when responding, okay? At the very least, both my father and I have been considerably disgraced and embarrassed by all of this. And might I remind you, it is entirely your fault. Please, Rosie, I'm begging you. Can't you possibly reconsider going forward with marrying my son? He's been reflecting on all that he's done over the past few months. So please, won't you change your mind? Please, would you think it over again one more time? Oh, was it really shocking when you received that mail? I guess it must have been so stressful seeing how everything ended up being exposed. Huh? Excuse me? I can hardly believe that he was already engaged to some other woman. Miss Harris or something, was it? Well, 
it looks like the mother and son have completely different opinions about what to do. And they certainly don't match very well. Well, it makes no difference to me. This just means there will be more compensation money coming in. Adding on such a betrayal of trust to what's already happened. I'm quite thankful to receive that extra bit of income. No, wait, please don't say things like that. I'm telling you, I was against the entire idea from the start. I don't know if it was some childhood friend of his or something, but to just marry someone from such an unremarkable family. I mean, there's not a single merit in a decision like that, right? You, with your much finer upbringing, are just a much more spectacular woman than she is. I even asked him, which person does he think he should hold dearest to him? As if it shouldn't be obvious. Huh? What in the world are you talking about? If I remember correctly, am I not the one who initially failed to meet the clearly exacting standards of your thorough interview? You had told me that you had made your final decision about my value and upbringing to begin with. And yet now I hear you trying to convince me that you felt like this all along. Do you really think that I would so easily go along with such a brazen attempt at buttering me up? After how you've treated me? But that's what I was telling you. I had no idea. If I had ever known the whole situation with just how important a figure your father was, I would have never contacted you the way I did in the first place. Oh, is that right? So, essentially, what you're telling me is that all you care about is my family's money? Well, no, I'm not saying that's what's most important or anything. Well, in any case... You seem to have gotten quite flustered now, haven't you? Considering how your son has ended up breaking off both of his engagements. Oh, I see it now, so you were the one pulling the strings the entire time then. You and your son's opinion seem to be so at odds with each other that I couldn't help but find it particularly strange. Malcolm also gave off the impression that he was trying to hide something from me too. So I did some digging into the whole situation and it turns out the whole situation was even more screwed up than I could have imagined. When I met up with the other woman he was engaged to and told her all about what was going on, she was unbelievably shocked, appalled even. I can't believe this. There is no way I'm going to marry such a horrible, conniving man, were her words if I remember correctly. Ugh, that impudent woman. She thinks that someone with such a worthless lineage like hers can say such things. Of course I wouldn't let it continue with her. Huh? But you also knew about everything that was going on, didn't you? Huh? That's why I said I couldn't believe how you were trying to convince me of the exact opposite of your initial opinion. You wouldn't be so quick to sing my praises unless you knew about both engagements from the start and just wanted to make one work, right? I, uh, no, that's not how it is. I was just trying to tell him to make sure he chose the right person, that's all. Or, to put it bluntly, you were trying to get him to keep me around, right? I can't believe you. Well, whatever you try to make him do, it makes no difference to me anyway. Wait, please wait. Don't you realize I'm giving my permission? I'm giving you my permission to marry my son. This sort of chance just doesn't come along every day, you know. Yes, and? If you were to marry him, there would be all sorts of advantages for the both of you, don't you see? Malcolm would be able to get back his reputation at work, and you would get to have one of the best husbands a woman can ask for. <laughs> one of the best husbands a woman could ask for? What part of him gets anywhere close to fitting that description? A two-timing man like him can't even get by with being called a terrible husband. He would be one of the worst husbands imaginable. To put it bluntly, to me, there isn't a single shred of good that can come from marrying someone like him. 
it sounds to me like you're just speaking total nonsense. If you want someone who will believe that garbage, try looking in a mirror. What did you say? You really are desperate, aren't you? To start off with such a haughty attitude, insulting me and my family straight to my face. Then to do a complete 180 and start trying to treat me like royalty or something. I can't help but laugh at how ridiculous this all is. No, 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 no. That That's not what's going on. Do you finally get it now? I'm not exactly free right now, so I simply must be going. Don't forget to pay the compensation you owe us. If you don't, I'm afraid my father and I will have no choice but to go to trial. Go to trial? Oh, would you prefer if we did that? No, just wait a moment. What I'm trying to say is that to meet those demands will ruin me. Ugh. If only Malcolm had told me about your father beforehand. None of these horrible things would have happened to me if he had just spoken up. Well, personally, I am happy the engagement got broken off myself. After all, I can feel much more at ease than I didn't end up becoming related to such a terrible man and his mother. Malcolm reached out to me one last time, begging for a reconciliation and to proceed with the marriage. Knowing him as a weak-milled man who simply obeys his mother's every command, I firmly refused to reconsider. In the end, I received $20,000 as compensation for all the trouble his family caused my father and me. As for Malcolm, rumors about his infidelity quickly spread throughout the company. The work environment became so unbearable for him that he stopped showing up altogether, leading to his eventual termination. With such a stain on his professional record, I can imagine it will be challenging for him to secure a new job. Well, as long as he has his beloved mommy by his side, maybe he can still manage to find some semblance of happiness. Interestingly, I heard that he completely turned his back on his father throughout this ordeal. It's clear that he's not in a good place, and if he doesn't find employment soon, he might be forced out of his own home with his mother in tow. When I shared this piece of information with Miss Harris, we couldn't help but laugh together for a long, long time. <laughs>